What's smacking beautiful people? This is Brody from Boston and this is High Chemical Romance. Uh, we, we haven't done a check-in in a little bit, so I wanted to give you guys my check-in on my uh, Suboxone taper, also my antidepressant and anti-anxiety medication taper. Um, I got my new levels in and I just can't wait to tell you guys what they are and tell you guys uh, my symptoms. And, and yeah, basically what we do here at High Chemical Romance is is we try to help people who fell into an addiction, either addictive medications, anything from Suboxone, Methadone, it could be Adderall, it could be literally anything that you got addicted to, coffee, sex, porn, I mean, whatever. And then we do, what we do is we help you get off of them with healthy lifestyle choices. So what you would do, you would do something positive, like instead of going to sleep, like if you are an alcoholic, instead of going to sleep every night at 4 a.m., completely hammered you know you would go to sleep a lot earlier and cut back on the drinking um, and uh, other stuff like us uh, for suboxone or withdrawal wise what you want to do is you want to get a very healthy clean diet of, of nice fruits and vegetables and really give your body that rejuvenation that it needs to recover from these fucking withdrawals because they suck literally they suck and they are finally starting to catch up with me and uh, I'm gonna run you guys through what I'm going through and, uh, and how it is. And I hope what I'm trying to do is spread awareness to somebody who doesn't know what it's like to have withdrawals and they just say, oh, that's why can't you just quit that? Like, what the fuck? Why are you robbing your parents or why are you ruining your friendships or this and that? It, it's not their choice. Like, yeah, it was their choice to get high in the first place come on man like you are fucking chemically dependent on something and it doesn't matter what's in front of you you will you will do anything to not feel the withdrawals because they're that bad i promise you they're that bad like i remember shaking in my bed just dripping of sweat completely dying when i was uh trying to come off of opiates by myself at home and i did it the complete wrong way and it was just so rough. Like, I just want to help people, you know, just figure out what the best, like, I mean, I understand that some people can't get off the medications. I understand that. So what I'm trying to suggest for those people is to at least decrease the amount that you're putting into your body every day. Because if you continue to keep putting a very high dose of a medication into your body, it's going to keep... It, just think about it. You're putting in that chemical or that substance and your body is going to have to process that and then, you know, use it. And it's just, it, it's not the way we were designed. Like fucking, how about this? You know what? How about this? For people who are like depression and, and this and that, like, have you ever seen a depressed alligator? Have you ever seen a depressed cow if you ever seen a depressed fucking bird a snake a fucking elephant hell no want to know why i don't know why i mean I, I don't know why we get these mental issues and, and these health problems and it's just so crazy how fast we become physically dependent on something and it could be literally anything. It could be anything from fucking brushing your teeth or um, just little uh, compulsive disorders that you basically create for yourself. It could be like, um, let's say, going, going like this before you talk. That's something I do sometimes and it's just... It's not necessary, but it's it's like you fall into that habit and you want to break it for sure because it just gives you a better, gives you a better quality, whatever you're trying to put out. So yeah, this is going to be my, uh, my fourth check-in and I cannot wait to, you know, discuss this with you guys and hopefully somebody is out there and they're able to find this video useful. Um, yeah, uh, so let's just break into where my levels were at on the last check-in and what I'm currently on for milligrams and stuff like that. So for milligrams, for we're going to start off with buprenorphine and naloxone, and that's also known as Suboxone, okay? And milligram-wise, I'm on five milligrams. And I haven't dropped that down yet because I just kind of still am hitting those withdrawal points, and I just want to get give myself another week 
or two of adjusting to this five milligrams and then you know slow it down so yes we have five milligrams for buprenorphine okay and now we're going to talk about my antidepressants it's an ssri selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor and that's called seroquel and i got the generic version that's also called quintapine so quintapine is the generic version of seroquel and the medication's fucking trash dude like it, it's not it's not good to take from the age of 18 19 to the end of your life it's just gonna be a shitty quality short fucking painful life like yes anybody out there interested in going on antidepressants what i would recommend for you would be to really think about it hard think about every single thing you've done and overcame so you you've come this far so what's making you say I give up. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm at my wit's end. And it's okay to be at your wit's end. And it's okay to give up. Because th that's literally your last lifeline. You saying, it's, it's about to be over for me. So I'm, I'm, I'll try an antidepressant. That's where you want to be. But so for somebody thinking about it, what I would really want you to really, really think about would be, okay, have I really thought about it? Okay. Am I somebody who sits inside all day on a computer, looking at Instagram, looking at models, looking at freaking beautiful people who are just completely gifted, dumb as rocks, and they can't even tie their own shoes? Or are you somebody who has a crappy diet, shitty sleeping habits, and, um, and, and you don't go outside? These are huge reasons why the human bodies become depressed, okay? When you don't have enough vitamin D, that's what they call it, is the sun, the fucking happy vitamin is the sun. That vitamin D pierces your fucking skin. So that's what you want to do for that. And then for a diet, you really want to cut out that sugar, that inflammation sugar. That's really going to send your body, like, it's not going to make your body happy. You know what I'm saying? So all this added sugar cut it out we got so many better things that you can choose like so something that i became very good at lately and that's because of the coronavirus would be baking i know your boy can fucking bake brody from boston is baking <laughs> i'm baked motherfucker but so what i become is really is really good at that but it's only healthy baking so i cannot wait to start a new section where i show you guys my s fucking awesome recipes that i've been figuring out like you guys are going when i show you guys my chocolate chip recipe chocolate chip cookie recipe it's probably going to be the best chocolate chip cookies you guys had in a long time i promise it's going to be that good oh yes i love them so much so yes what i what i do for these baking for i don't want to give you guys all my tips but i'll give you just a couple all right so instead of using sugar that white fucking granulated sugar, instead of using that, cut that out. Go for something more, especially if this fits into your recipe, something like maple syrup, something like honey. That's what I would choose. And then there's also some other types of uh, healthy sugar replacements, anything from coconut sugar to, there's just, there's a lot of options out there nowadays. You got egg replacements for people who are allergic to eggs or people who do not want the eggs in their recipe. I've been doing my math, my science, trying to get the best recipes down, and I think I nailed it on this chocolate chip cookie recipe. So yeah, what you want to do is you really want to take a look at your added sugar and make sure that, you know, females don't have anything more than like 25 to 28 grams of added sugar a day. And then you want to make sure that males don't have anything from 32 to maybe 38 grams of added sugar a day. And then, and then to break that slowly, I'm pretty, I mean, to break that down for you, um, I'm pretty sure like a can of Coke would destroy these numbers. So make sure you don't have a can of Coke. Like you guys can't do that shit. Like just, just don't just get your sugar from natural sources like clementines or fruit and, and stuff like that. So yeah, cut out that bullshit sugar. I promise you, your body is going to thank you a lot more. And then, um, along those lines, 
uh, exercise wise you want to at least have 30 minutes of a good exercise every day and then at least another walk towards your end of the day so I like what I like to do is I like to kettlebell workout for sure it's like one of my favorite workouts because you don't need much you just need that fucking kettlebell and that's it and you don't need nothing heavy like just as long as you're moving and getting those shits moving that's what we're going for so yeah I use like a 25 pound weight I'm all about overhand presses, freaking rows. I'm all about squats. Like every single day I am putting in the freaking squats. And for somebody coming off medications, my top, top hack, cheat code, whatever you want to call it, is if you, like a lot like me, when I'm coming off these medications, it's like I can't sleep. Like I, I use the medications to sleep and... Um, so how do you sleep? So what I do, I got like a trick. So right before I go to bed, I, I mean, not right before I go to bed. So two to three hours before I go to bed is I fucking give it a hard workout. I'm talking about dripping sweat, freaking putting in the work and exhausting your body so much that you are going to fall asleep. Yeah, it works. You don't have to push your body that hard. I'm talking about a freaking 30 minute workout. So it's, it's not, it's not like you're going to exhaust and have a heat stroke. Okay. Relax. But, um, so yeah, do that and, uh, it would improve your sleep. And then right after you work out, have something that is very high in protein. So while like your body loves to have protein when you're sleeping, my favorite go-to is Greek yogurt. Anything that's got super high, it's only like a Greek yogurt little container is only like this big and in it has about 15 to 18 grams of fucking protein that's awesome if you can crush two of those that's like a protein shake for sure so um yeah have something like that or i like to go for the nuts something like almonds are, are very good at sleeping and, and that time of night enough of that let's go into the fucking what you guys came here for that's enough tips for the fucking day so yeah check in baby my levels were at 69.0 on check in three and still at five milligrams. Yeah, uh, okay, I haven't dropped. I'm still on five milligrams. But week four, I mean, check in four, it is at 64.7. Not bad. I mean, I mean, we're slowly dropping, but it's it's coming down. And now we're going to talk into withdrawals. So withdrawal section, when I wake up, I am... I can't do much, okay? It's it sucks. It sucks to say I can't do much. So like I wake up and if there was a freaking fire in my house, I don't think I'd want to even get up and leave. I would just sit there. <laughs> That's how I feel. So yeah, um I wake up absolute laziness, no motivation, and then what happens? My mouth starts watering. It's like it's like there's a juicy steak just sitting two feet away from me. And what that juicy steak is, is buprenorphine right to the fucking sublingual fucking film under the tongue. Ah, oh, it sucks. It sucks so bad. It's like I just sit there and I just, I need it. I need it. I need it. But you really want to push it back till right when you wake up, stress and shake and shiver for that hour of hydration. Just hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Then go for your medications. And then uh, that should help you out a little more, too, because your body is so dehydrated. Right when you wake up, you throw a fucking film under your tongue. I don't think that's healthy. <laughs> okay, so yeah, more withdrawals. We'll go to hands and feet are fucking frozen. My circulation is all fucking whacked up right now. I, I just can't figure it out. Restless legs, absolutely. Towards the end of the night, I just got restless legs. Um, I'm, I sweat a lot. Uh, it, it's not pretty. I'm starting to really feel it. But I can handle it. And I'm going to handle it for you guys. Because I really want there to be some evidence of somebody getting off these medications. You know, the right way. By the right way, you know my way. My way. This is the way. This is the way. Um. So yeah, basically... I just so I feel like I'm in like the lazy river just floating around dude I'm just like oh boy this sucks
but whatever. I'm just going to keep pushing through it. I'm going to keep fucking, I'm just going to get hyped up for no reason and just put my head through the fucking wall. Just because you got to change it. Yes, you do feel tired and whatever, but you got to fucking change it. You got to snap out of it. Just snap out of it. Pull your head out of the fucking dirt. I swear to God, you can do it. I promise. I'm doing it right now. Okay? I'm doing it right fucking now. In front of you. And you can guys watch me. You guys can pick whichever thing that seems most beneficial to you and implement it into your life and to implement it into your taper plan and i hope it works for you because i just pray it freaking work for you so yeah that's basically it for uh withdrawals i'm just gonna keep pushing through it i'm gonna go for a bike ride as much as i can whenever the fucking sunlight's outside go outside especially if you're from a shitty place like new england who gets the winter or whatever like basically just whenever there's sun take advantage of it that's what i'm doing so yeah that that's that's that i hope you guys found it interesting i hope it helps you guys if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and then if you guys really liked it please share it to somebody who needs it because somebody could fucking need it and it could really help someone i promise i am trying to help people and if you comment i'm gonna comment back because you guys are like my family and whatever you guys need just just hit me up i'm gonna reach out and i'm gonna i'm gonna help you guys out i'm gonna try my fucking best i'm giving you my best i promise so yeah that's that now if you guys haven't subscribed yet and you want to please hit that subscribe button it's gonna be right here and then right beside it is gonna be a notification bell and then you hit that and you'll know exactly when i drop a new video and then if you guys want to see some of my older tapers my ch recent check-ins they'll be right here also i'm also doing entertainment where i go over tv shows like survivor the challenge and then i also talk about different health stuff like could be something about my headaches or other types of health remedies i'm brody from boston this is high chemical romance and i love you